To talk in corruption, as Nigeria continues to grapple with the effects of corruption, especially high-profile cases, there are now more pushes for strict adherence to the rule of law to tackle the most critical impediment to the country's development. There is more in the following reports. War on corruption is not new to Nigeria, as there have been continuous efforts to rid the nation of this menace that has, over time, taken a toll on its economy. This event brings together key players in the anti-graft war, senior legal practitioners and civil society organizations who are gathered to brainstorm on ways through which corruption can be eradicated completely. Major speakers at the event joined calls for adherence to the rule of law and emphasized that corruption erodes trust and obstructs the path to justice. We must let everybody know that corruption does not pay. Our laws should be reviewed and brought in line with current trends globally, global best practices. We need to fight corruption in the context of respect for the rule of law. If indeed we are interested in fighting corruption, then we must show that, if, that uh, there is effective and efficient administration of criminal world justice system. On his part, the Attorney General of Lagos State identified one of the notable steps taken to combat corruption in the state as the enactment of the Public Complaints and Anti-Corruption Commission law. So there are so many things we need to begin to do to discourage corruption, and that is by attacking the causes of corruption in our society. Chairman of EFCC, Olao Lukoyede, who was represented by the Zonal Commander of the Lagos Office, Michael Wetkas, warned that nobody is immune to corruption and efforts must be taken to eliminate it. All over the world. Corruption is a threat to growth and development, the development of individuals and nations. No one is immune to the contagion of corruption, which is why nations are united in finding solutions to this common ailment. Chairman of HEDA, Olanri Waju Suraju, who joined the event virtually, said the compendium was compiled as one of the organization's efforts to fight against corruption. He also seeks collaboration with critical players to profile lasting solutions.